What is up, foreigners? Welcome back to another 2v2s until we lose season 2 episode 5 right here. High Flying and Boss Boy are 12 and 0. I'm your host, Donnie G9. Let's get right into this. As we're waiting for them to start their game, if you haven't seen the first four episodes of season two, go check them out for some great 2v2 action. And please like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more 2v2 action in the future. We're here in Battle 1, we are matched up against Playf and Baba from Elite Vikings DK Clan. Starting off with the Double Dark Prince, uh, Fire Spirits. And they defend extremely well with that uh, Firecracker, Bats, and Musketeer. They send over the Miner on the right side. He will get a few hits. And the Electro Wizard will finish him off. We got a Baby Dragon in the coming towards our tower, but it is stopped by that Lumberjack and Spear Goblins. Fireball doing some damage on the tower and... The um, Spear Goblin Hut. Got a Goblin Barrel heading over. They're going to get a few hits. Dark Prince is a great job uh, defending that, though. The Dark Prince is stopped by the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And he will not get a hit fi being finished off right at the last second. Boss Boy and High Flying have a slight lead in this battle as we're just hitting the halfway mark. Dark Prince charging up towards their tower. Bats are in play for them. Royal Giant, uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A., all level 13. Should do some great damage here as the other team defends fairly well with their Valkyrie Musketeer and Firecracker. The Miner doing some work on our tower, but not enough to make a comeback. Goblin Barrel heading over and is stopped by the Fire Spirits. Minute to go, times two Elixir. Starting off with a Goblin Gang heading towards our tower, but is defended by the our Dark Prince. Another Dark Prince in play heading over to the left side. Level 13 Gi Royal Giant. Is in play, shooting its cannon, getting one solid hit on their tower. Fireball, so trying to stop their push there. They got a huge push now with that Hog Rider and Miner Mini P.E.K.K.A. push. And they take the lead by taking our tower. Boss Boy and High Flying falling behind with 15 seconds to go. They need a tower to tie this up and push it to overtime. 10 seconds to go. Sending over the fireball. Is it enough? And it is. We're heading into overtime. What a clutch fireball for Boss Boy and High Flying. We're in a dead even tied up game here as we just ended regulation. Royal Giant should be getting a few solid hits on their tower. They have their minor sliding over to our side with a small push. And Boss Boy and High Flying should defend this. And they do fireball. Was sent over doing some damage on their hut and tower. What a bad skarmy by Boss Boy and High Flying. It is, it is absolutely destroyed by their Valkyrie. What a satisfying log, though, taking out all of those go spear goblins. Goblin Barrel heading over and is logged. Hog Rider gets one hit as it's stopped by the Dark Prince and Electro Wizard. Royal Giant getting some decent hits on their tower. Is this enough? One more hit. Boom! Boom! What a great overtime win there for Boss Boy and High Flying. Way to stick with it and close out a strong battle here. Oh, shoot. I actually started spectating the wrong guy. All right. Heading into battle two. 
matched up against um, uh, Manish from Vibe Tribe. Starting off with our level 13 Spear Goblins. Fire Spirits jumping into the tower on the left side. Elite Barbs on the left side, level 13. Should be taking out that um, Executioner, but it is actually distracted by the giant Lava Hound on the right side. It's defended pretty well with that Minion Horde. But the um, Lava Hound Spirits finish off our tower early here in the battle as Boss Boy and High Flying sh are struggling to find a solid start. We sit at a standstill. Vibe Tribe are currently playing way more efficient, only playing 7 cards to Boss Boy and High Flying's 11 cards. They break the silence with the Witch and Baby Dragon. And we're going to try to defend this with the Dark Prince, Spear Goblins. They send over Inferno Dragon. Baby Dragon is taken out. And this push should be stopped. And it is. Some, the Skarmy is split up, heading to both ways here. Elite Barbs, Royal Giant, this should get us some damage. On their tower, 60 seconds to go, times two Elixir. Vibe Tribe is trying to defend this as the Royal Giant brings their tower below 1,000 HP. We take out that Giant as there's still a small push heading towards our tower. Fireball doing a great job finishing off most of their units. Dark Prince with the charge hit tower to tie up the game. What a clutch Dark Prince there as we tie up the game and this should be another overtime battle. So we have the Elite Barbs on the right side. Royal Giant now in play. Starting to do some damage with 10 seconds to go in regulation. Mini P.E.K.K.A. finishing off the Executioner and does not get a hit. But he splits up their push. Level 13 Giant is stopped. Miner doing some damage, but not much. As Boss Boy and High Flying do have a solid lead here at the beginning of overtime. Log Fireball taking out that Witch. Another Log pushing out the Executioner. But we are mad because there's a huge push that could have been stopped by the Log on the left side. But it, we still manage with the Double Dark Prince. Royal Giants back in play. Should be doing some huge damage here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Boom! Boom! Another clutch overtime win for Boss Boy and High Flying. They were behind for most of that game and came back and managed to finish out strong. Oh my gosh. These are some insane battles today as we head into our final battle. 2-0 and on the day. Looking strong. We're matched up against uh, Lauk562 and Endy from uh, D. Runkin Chaos Clan. Starting off with the Elite. Barb's Royal Giant push, but we are frozen, and they managed to stop that push extremely well. Boss Boy and High Flying have seen some great matchups today. Let's see if uh, this is going to be another one. Ram Rider is stopped by the Fire Spirits and Electro Wizard. And he is going to do some decent damage, getting the first hits of the game. We sit at a standstill. Um, Loki and Endy, they have used only six cards to Boss Boy and High Flying's nine cards, but they have not managed to get a hit on our tower yet. We, we break the silence with the a Royal Giant. 
the back of the crown tower and the dark prince did they leave the game or are they just um, waiting for our push to make it to the other side to start defending got the lumberjack uh, elite barbs and I think they have left the game and boss boy and high flying should easily win this one now and make it 3-0 on the day boom 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 three crown great way to finish to get the day we are 15 and 0 on the season staying undefeated here in season 2 it's absolutely amazing boss boy and high flying showing their dominance on the field today what a great way to finish the day with that three crown that's all we have for you today See you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your host, Donnie G9. Sign off for now. Boom, boom, boom.